Look at that. I don't think so. Rice cakes. Oh. 3.9. Yeah. Dinner tonight. This is so creepy. I'll buy dinner. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm back on my Canon G7X now. If you've been staying updated with my camera, what do I want to call it? Testing? This one is my old one. This is the Canon G7X Mark III. And then for the past two vlogs, I've been trying out the Sony ZV-1. I think the general consensus is that you guys prefer the Canon. I had played around with the Sony a little bit for my last vlog, as in like last week's vlog, and that hasn't gone up live. Hasn't gone up live, hasn't gone live yet. I think I'm gonna wait till this vlog goes live. Oh, see, this one never focuses. Then I'll ask you guys again which one you prefer, because I, yeah, as I said, played around with the settings and I think I improved it a bit, but we're still not sure. <laughs> right now I'm on my Canon only because the Sony doesn't have any charge. So I think I'm literally gonna flip between them and then kind of see which I prefer. Uh, Are you glad I'm home? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shmady's very glad too. If you didn't see my last week's vlog as well, I was away all week in Sydney with the girls. Basically planning to edit that vlog all today. Okay, but if you guys saw last week's vlog, you would know that I have a tattoo. I haven't told Sam yet. We've literally been up together for hours now, made breakfast, but I was wearing a hoodie and I just like had it over my hand the whole time. So I think what I'm going to do is say I've got a surprise for him. Like I bought him something in Sydney. And then I'm going to show him some candles that I bought and kind of like play it down. And make him think that's what I bought. And I'm going to be like, okay, close your eyes. I've got another surprise. And then I think I'm just going to put my hand in his hand. And I just think he's going to be shocked because it's now almost, it's like 11.30. And we've been up together all morning and I haven't said anything. I'm excited. I'm a bit nervous. I don't know why. You can kind of see peeping out here, I have a pile of clothes next to me. I did recently do a Princess Polly order and I thought I'd give you a little bit of a haul. I am also working with them on today's video, so I do also have a discount code for the entire Princess Polly website, which is Sophie X Polly. First thing is this top, which is so comfy. I'm not even wearing a bra with it, and I, I mean, any top or any outfit that I don't have to wear a bra with is a win for me. It's like this green knitted material i love it i absolutely love it i feel like it's just really nice color such good quality such good material and it's just like such an easy throw on and then the shorts i actually sized up and got a size 10 i'm usually i would say more so an eight in pants but i got a size 10 and i kind of love it because they're just really loose and i hate when denim cuts you off and is really tight just a little bit on the looser side and i love them so if you can hear our next door neighbor is currently mowing his lawn so sorry if that's a bit annoying next thing i got was actually quite I wouldn't say out of my comfort zone, but not something I'd usually reach for. And it is these long black, I want to say like silk pants. Like they're like that silky material. I pictured this actually, where is it? With this bodysuit for just like a full black outfit with some sunnies, which these weren't actually in my latest order, but I always get questions about these and they're from Princess Polly. I'm picturing like black bodysuit, black long pants, slicked back hair in a bun or like a ponytail or something with these sunnies. I either like black white sneakers or these as well, which I recently picked up. Plain black slides, I want to say. I am the biggest fan of slides. I think they are so easy. Like if you're running to the shops, if you're going out for the day, they're comfortable. I feel like that all black outfit with the sunnies would be such a vibe. Next thing I got is this stunning little crop. Look at that. It's got tie sleeves. Goes so well with the shorts. I just love this. I love tie sleeves. I think they're so cute and like, I don't know, fun and playful. I love it. Next thing I picked up, which I think would actually go quite well with the top I just showed. A really light material. Again, perfect for just like getting into a bit more warmer weather. Will be perfect for our little tropical holiday coming up. With a cute little crop. Even if it's a bit colder with a little jumper. Bikinis. White. So it will really bring out the tan that I hopefully will have. Love it. Next thing I got <laughs> looks terrible like this. Hopefully you can see it better in the try-on. I also haven't taken the tag off yet because I haven't had a chance to wear it. This colour absolute favorite color to wear to be honest i think it's so bright and fun honestly this is probably a little bit out of my comfort zone because it's very like croppy but you don't have to wear a bra with it which we love look at that color stunning next thing i picked up is this 
stunning white play suit. I love the V. It's a beautiful, like, linen-y, very, very light material. I love the little tie bow at the back. I think it's so flattering and so beautiful. Again, with a tan on our holiday with those slides going out for some dinner. Yes. And then last but not least, I picked up this gorgeous little kind of oversized tee. What size did I get? I got a size 8, so I feel like it is quite oversized. Tucked into denim shorts, jeans. I feel like it's one of those pieces that you chuck on and it's so easy so you don't have to try, but it kind of looks like you've made a bit of an effort. I just love a basic tee, to be honest. Perfect for spring. I love it. I will make sure to link everything that I mentioned in order in the description box if you did want to check any of it out. If you do decide to pick up any pieces, definitely make sure to use my code SOPHIEXPOLLY as it'll give you 20% off. There is also free shipping on all Oz orders when you spend over $50 as well. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that little haul. I think it's a very good refresh of my wardrobe. I love it. Hey. Yeah. I've got a surprise for you. For me? Yeah. I'm gonna go get Oh God. Hey Finn. There are two candles. Just what I wanted. <laughs> Some presents for the house. Oh, okay. They're the ones that you love. <laughs> Smell that. This one's really good, actually. <laughs> that smells really good. Right. Anyway, so that's a surprise. Such an idiot. I do also have another surprise. Another one? Yeah. Emma ran out of space. That's all right. We're back. What do you think it is? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't expecting it. Probably another freaking panel. <laughs> Alright. I'm scared. Open. <laughs> what the f? I got a tattoo. Really? This is real. Is it real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like. What? Tell me the story. It was so random. I literally made the decision in like five minutes. Yeah. I was like, oh, I don't think I'll get it. Like, yeah. blah, blah. And then I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Yeah. And then I made the decision literally within five minutes. She like wrote it up on the screen. She was like, what font? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. And then I go, <laughs> feel it. Yeah, it is real. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? <laughs> that's awesome. I was like, oh, what do I get? Like, do I get like something pretty or something like? I don't know, like I just didn't know. Yeah. But I was like, I wanted, I wanted to get something that like, I feel like I need to see every day. Yeah. And you know how I get really stressing in my head? Yeah, yeah. And like sometimes I just need you to be like, you're okay. It's a reminder. Like, yeah. And so, <laughs> it's on my hand. I'm I just... kept it from you all morning as well, because that's why you're like, oh, you're wearing a jumper, aren't you? Hot? I was I like, oh, I'm fine. Because oh. I've been doing this all morning, because oh. I wanted to wait and film it. <laughs> Isn't that so random? Yeah, I'm just gobs, but I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. That's cool. Do you hate it? No, I think it's cool. Do you think it's cool? Yeah. Like, look, this yeah. is my hand now. No, yeah, you gotta tell me that's my hand. <laughs> Are you shocked? Yeah, I was expecting it. I'm sweating. I wasted it. I don't know, it's just, I think it was a big build up because when you called me on, I think it was Saturday, I like wanted to tell you so mm. bad. Oh, okay. And like, I just feel like there was a massive build up. Did it hurt? Not really. No? Like, look, it hurt. A little scratch. A little bit. You'll get over it. Yeah. Yeah. It'll just be normal. Honestly, now even like when I see it, like I expect to see it's it. It's just there, yeah. Yeah, but like at first, like for the first like 24 hours, I was like, <gasps> every single time I saw it. I like what you chose. You do? Mm. Mm. It's cool. I thought so. You're all inked up, bruh. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, I'm such a loser now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I mentioned in my vlog two weeks ago when we were grocery shopping that I couldn't manage to find gluten-free hot cross buns anywhere, but yesterday, I managed to find them, so I've just made one. Sam's playing some video games. Yours is here. Yours is here. Thank you. I can hear you. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I feel like nothing, nothing is better than a warm hot cross bun with some butter on it. Am I right? <laughs> Easter only comes once a year, so you really need to make the most of the hot cross bun. That's all I say. Which one do you eat first, the bottom or the top? I feel like the top is thicker, so I'm going to eat that last. Mmm, that is so good. The gluten-free is actually really good as well. That is so good. Do you want some, do you? This? Shake, good boy. There you go. 
Good boy. We're having a very chill day today. I feel like I kind of need one. I mean, you can hear my voice is kind of lost. It always happens after I go away on a girl's trip because I feel like I just talk so much. Don't think I'll go to the gym today. I might go for a walk. The sun's actually come out a little bit as well. It was pouring rain this morning. Don't think I'll go to the gym. I could. I could be in the mood later and go. But right now, I'm not feeling it and I kind of feel like I need a bit of a rest day. So yeah, kind of having a very slow start to the week. But I feel like because I got home yesterday, I need one. <laughs> Do you want some more or something? Um. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're on special. Should I get some? Okay, I will. Twist my arm. What cereal should I get? My favorite is the honey crunchy nut or something. I don't think I could do Milo again after that. That would be crazy. Yeah. Crunchy nut. Um, That's yeah. the best cereal. Crunchy nut is good. Salt time bread. Hershey's chocolatey yes. bites. Yeah, I reckon those would be. Good, but they're a bit sweet. I want something a little bit more like. You know, like wheat mix, sultana bread, those kind sultana of Sultana bread? Yeah, I don't know. That's so good. I love sultana bread. It's good, eh? I got the buds. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why, but right now I'm really stuck with lunches. I just never know what I feel like. I think I overdid the nourish bowls because I had them like literally every single day. Now I'm just like, mm, I'm not sure. So if anyone has any good lunch suggestions, I feel like I like a good big lunch. Because you've got like wraps and sandwiches, but I just feel like they don't fill me up enough. Maybe I'm just not making them right. I'm not sure. I've already stocked up on my oat milk yesterday. I need to get some chocolate for the donut topping. All right. What should I get? I might get dark chocolate one for some. Should I get some white chocolate? You did nachos though. Nachos? Like the potato nachos we did? Oh yeah, that was good. I feel like this really washes me out, this camera. I don't love it. I just can't find the perfect camera, can I? <laughs> Now, Tuesday afternoon, actually, it's 4.44, angel numbers. I have spent all of today editing last week's weekly vlog. It is like 40 minutes long. I really didn't think it was going to be that long. We talked a lot. <laughs> it has been the rainiest, gloomiest day again today. Perfect day to just spend editing. But we have come out this afternoon because we need to get a couple of things. Sam's car... There's something wrong with it and it won't start. So he's just currently in Bunnings trying to find some jumper leads or something. I, <laughs> so I've got this vision right because I'm doing a giveaway with Macro Mike over on my Instagram. And I have this vision of how I want the photo to look. And it's Sam and I in aprons, in chef's hats, with like a bunch of food from Macro Mike kind of laid out that I've made. But chef hats and aprons, like good aprons, nice aprons, are harder to find than you would think. Well, that I thought. I think we're going to try and go to a few places. I don't even know. Where do you find them? I just want like plain white. I don't know. I'm currently choosing our Hello Fresh meals for next week. You guys have seen, I feel like my last few vlogs, I've been complaining about never knowing what to cook for dinner. So we've decided to do Hello Fresh again. Yum. I think we've decided on Guzman and Gomez for dinner. Yeah, I thought that too fries. I feel like a burrito bowl. All I know, all I know. Creamy coconut and prawn. What? <laughs> it's jamming. <laughs> and you're like, Creamy coconut and prawn. <laughs> Is that the only option? I really just want a white one. Reject store was sadly unsuccessful. Reject store can be rejected. <laughs> We're in Big W now. Okay, here's some more. It's like this. Will you be mad if Kmart has white ones? I don't yeah. think they will though. Mm. I'll just hate to get to Kmart and they have cheaper white ones. I suppose we can go have a look at so all the other side of the road. Is this a terrible angle? No. Terrible. Okay. Do you have to have them white or is that? What about if there's like five dollar white aprons over in Kmart and they get fifteen dollars each? Okay, so I tell you what, if there are white ones regardless of price, mm. I'll buy dinner. If there's not, you'll buy dinner. 
Okay. Alright, deal. Because okay. I've got to go all the way to the side of the shopping centre. I'm really counting on Kmart. Oh, it's very rainy. Where would they be? Come on, Kmart. <gasps> I definitely prefer that. And it's cheaper. All right, I'll grab these. I feel like that's the best I can do. So who's buying dinner? Well... They're not white. I think you should pay for dinner. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Fine, I'll pay. My hair's gone all curly. <laughs> it always happens in the rain. Ooh, what a gentleman you are. I'm starving. Stomping. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. Why has nothing ever smelled better than this? Get home. Oh my god. This is my best friend. She a real bad bitch driver. I'm kind of a This playlist is called Songs to Scream in the Car. You know when you get so hungry, you start to feel sick. Yes. That's how I'm feeling. Yeah, I'm over that part now. He's a little burrito. <laughs> As it is Look such there. a rainy, cozy night, we've both put our hoodies on. <laughs> I am so cozy right now. And we've got our guzzi. This elderflower and lemon, is it? Yeah, elderflower and lemon kombucha is incredible. Going to make my way to the couch. I think I've fixed this camera. I'm back on my Sony, by the way. I'm really just picking up whatever camera is closest to me at the time. Yeah. Seems to be looking a lot better in low light. You sir? Can you imagine if I ever got sponsored by GYG? That would actually be my dream. Look at this. It's got a burrito bowl with the sauteed veggies and guac. We're gonna watch some new girl. Relax about what he's quite stoked about it, to be honest. Friday actually. I honestly feel like I haven't vlogged that much in the past two days because all I've been doing is sitting on my computer. Just doing a lot of admin stuff, the boring stuff, no one really cares, do you know what I mean? But it is Friday now, the sun, like there is not a cloud in the sky. Are you kidding me? That's just the best thing ever. Compared to two days ago where it was bucketing rain, so dark and cold, I love it. I feel like my mood has just lifted so much and I feel like being so much more productive. Decided to start off my Friday with a walk. One, because I feel like I haven't done a morning walk in a while and they do always just set up my day so much. I really just wanted to make the most of this incredible weather. I'm also quite sore. I did a upper body strength session on Tuesday and my triceps and shoulders are still so sore. Then on Wednesday, as you would have seen, I did a lower body workout. I just feel like my lower body's fatigued. So I thought for my movement for today, I would just go for a walk. And I really, really do want to start. I feel like I say this all the time. <laughs> I really want to start implementing more walking into my day. Does anyone ever have anything bad to say about walking? I don't think so. I mean, like, yeah, it can be boring, but I just feel like for movement for the body, I love it. Feeling really, really good this morning. I feel like just the weather probably is playing a massive role, but I don't know. I feel like I want to have a really, really productive Friday and just like end the week, end the work week on a really 
good high productive note. I also don't currently have Odie with me, but I always take him for the first like two kilometers of my walk. Just because his fur is quite long right now, he gets very hot walking. So yeah, I'm not being a terrible dog mom and just going for a walk by myself. <laughs> I took him for the first two kilometers and then I just took him back to the house and then continued walking myself. I'm on 3.9. I was trying to think for so long. I was like, there was something I was going to say and I completely forgot. But yesterday I sat watching my vlogs from about this time last year for like a solid 40 minutes. And I think it was about mid-March last year that we went into lockdown. We were all baking banana bread. We were all listening to like the five same songs on TikTok. I don't know, it was just such a, such a mood. I feel like the first bit of lockdown, I feel like worldwide, had. Does this make any sense? I'm not sure. We are so lucky where we are to have no restrictions anymore and genuinely my love goes out to any of you and I know there is a lot who are still in a lockdown. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Maybe it was just because it was so new and I feel like we were all like, what is going on? Everyone was playing Animal Crossing. I actually never did get into the Animal Crossing. But I definitely got into the whole banana bread. I think I was making a new loaf most days. I think we were all just feeling the same weird thing. Let me know if anyone else feels this way. I'm at 4.5 kilometers now. Okay, this is what got me onto the whole, I was watching my old quarantine vlogs because that's when Sam and I really started walking. That was the only really time we left the house was just to like go on walks. And I remember loving walking and feeling like my body just felt so amazing. And I think that just reminded me to just start walking again. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking your ear off. There is actually not a cloud in the sky. I love it. I actually put makeup on today, I think for the first time, mm, not this week, in a few days. It's now 9.20. I'm so hungry, so I'm going to make some breakfast. I also always get questions about this blender. This is the Nutribullet Select 1200 watt, I think. Also comes with this, which is so good when you're making a smoothie bowl and it's not wanting to blend well. Ideally, you'd want some frozen bananas because it just takes it to a whole nother level. I was silly though and forgot to freeze my bananas last night. So I'm just using one banana. And you wanna add in a lot of ice. I love a really cold icy smoothie, especially when it's so hot. So when I say a lot of ice, I mean a lot of ice. We've also been so lazy lately and have been buying like packets of ice because we're so bad at refilling the ice tray. Not something we're proud of. Some almond milk. I just use this one from, is it focusing? Yeah, from Woolworths. It's really cheap. For the past couple of weeks, I have been using this protein. It is the Macro Mike Almond Protein in the flavor Salted Caramel. Guys, this is incredible. It is the smoothest dairy-free vegan protein I have ever tried in my life. It's not like sickly sweet as well. I feel like it's maybe, I absolutely love it. I also think my stomach really likes the almond protein versus like pea protein. I'm not sure. This is a total optional step, but I also add in some of this woman's best collagen peptides. I've been using the Naked Harvest Very Vanilla Greens Powder. I love it. You can't even taste it. Plus one scoop of it is one serving of veggies. This is actually what I have picked up from my friend Kate. She has been adding cacao nibs to her smoothies and I used to do this all the time. I just completely forgot about it. Also almond butter. So I have been taking a page from her book and adding those to the smoothie as well. And I put a little bit of cinnamon in. I just love cinnamon. I feel like it makes everything taste better. That's how it comes out. Just tried a bit, I'm not gonna lie. And it is so good. Wait. I need to show you guys this consistency. Look at that. It's actual ice cream. I feel like I sounded very Australian. <laughs> actual ice cream. And then, this is obviously very extra. You don't need to do this whatsoever, but I love it. So I also add a bit of the Naked Harvest Moon Milk. All of the products that I can find, I will link in the description box if you want to check out. Look at that beauty. Thank you. Ready? Oh my goodness. I like to eat mine with a spoon and a straw. Really, it's just a whole nother experience, do you know? If you guys give this recipe a go, please let me know what you think. I think it tastes like cookies and cream. Sam has confirmed this theory as well.
pizzas for dinner tonight. I'm very excited. Football's on, which Sam's very happy about. I think I'm gonna put Ginny and Georgia on because I'm kind of, I actually posted on my Instagram. I was like, do we hate it? Do we love it? The general consensus is that everyone loved it. And even when they were like, mm, like very cringe and like kind of bad, but like addictive, agree. Boom. Oh, it actually fits perfectly. I wonder if anyone just goes, awesome. I don't think so. These are the bases we use as well. Are you a thin pizza guy or a thin. thick box? Yeah, that's what I meant. <clears throat> Middle. Yeah, I'm the same. I like a little bit of warmth. Yeah. I don't want it to be fully crunchy. No. But I don't like the thick crusts. I think they're kind of gross. Like, I did. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. It really sounded like you were going to. I did. <laughs> Nothing else. I was going to, but I gave up. I was watching the footy. Vote below whose looks better, mine or Sam's? Uh, I mean, looks better. <laughs> yeah, on. mine does. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I was watching, I was like, hello. I'm very excited. I might have mentioned this, but the last time we made homemade pizzas, we, we kind of sucked at it. Pizza for us. We did. We were like, oh. We put weird stuff on it, like yeah. turkey mints. It was just not good at trash. all. So it kind of put it put us off pizza for a while, but we have decided to try and redeem ourselves. Stop, that is so good. Last goal. Look at this family. <laughs> Odie's like, hello. What more would you want mm. and could you want on a Friday night? Ding. Very happy about the situation right now. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, my little pumpkin. Oh, like mine. Mm, that's delicious. Oh yeah, it is. Good morning. Oh my goodness, this is so creepy. Tell you what, today just feels like Easter. The air's got a bit of freshness to it. I love it so much. But on that black bodysuit that I showed you guys in the haul at the start of the week with the denim shorts, as you can see, I've, I've basically worn them every single day just with a different top. They're so comfy. I feel like they're such a staple. But I am just on my way to the post office. I thought I missed it actually, to be honest. I didn't know if the post office was open on a Saturday or not, but I checked and they're open from 9 till 12 and it's 11 a.m. So I'm just heading off to quickly drop a package off and also pick up a parcel as well. Honestly, the nicest day ever. I wish I could go to the beach and have a swim, but I've still got another six days till I can swim with my tattoo. I tell you what, I am just in the best mood today. I feel like I've been in a really good mood all week. I don't know what it is. You know what, it is the week after period week though. Yeah, that explains a lot. I've not done that much this morning so far. I got up, made some breakfast. I made the smoothie that I had yesterday. I'm just obsessed with that at the moment. Very slow cleaning Saturday morning. And I love that. I feel like I'm in such a good place with, when it comes to my health and fitness at the moment. I'm loving my training. I'm loving moving my body just really, really naturally. I just feel really, really balanced at the moment. And I think that's just making me feel amazing. I don't know. I feel like I always feel like this around this time of year though. Love Easter and the time around Easter with an absolute passion. So that could be it as well. This song is so beautiful. It almost brings me to tears. Isn't better than silence. No matter where I go, you will get to me. You will get to me. Good, thank you. some gum. Let's see what we got. I was hoping it was going to be this. I recently got an order from Anna Luisa, which is one of my favorite. <gasps> Stop. I love that. I love that. I remember ordering quite a lot of rings. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love rings. Look at that. Stunning. Look at that. Save me. Just made some lunch. Look at that focus. I love this camera. At first I wasn't sure if I loved it. I think I've worked it out now. I've got some leftover pizza from last night that I didn't finish. And then some rice cakes, one with avocado, one with some tuna, tomato, hummus. Very excited. I've also been smashing through my to-do list today, which I'm very happy about. I'm gonna have this, watch some PLL because I kind of stopped watching it for a bit. And I finished Ginny and Georgia last night, so. I'm up to season six, episode 15. So I'm almost done.
what's the time? 5.30. 5.30 p.m. As you would have seen, I've had, um, I was gonna say a chill Sunday. We've actually just finished filming a video. We filmed the boyfriend does my boohoo order. I'm really excited to get this up for you guys. I feel like you're gonna enjoy it. That took like an hour in itself. Basically, other than that, I've just been having a bit of a cleaning day. Just had to do a bit of content today. And then I've also just been editing my weekly vlog, like this weekly vlog that you've been watching or just like the first few days of it because I wanted to get a bit of a head start. But you would have seen that I made these brownies before. They are incredible. Just use this packet mix from Macro Mike. I will try and leave these below. I do have a discount code for them. They are salted caramel brownies. I want you to try these brownies. Can I have a middle piece? Yeah. I know that's annoying. It is a bit, but it's all but right. You gotta get a middle piece. Yeah, the middle pieces are the best. Look at that. Oh my lord. Oh. oh. <laughs> I've already had one and I think they are incredible. It's got a chunk in it. <gasps> Look at the chunk. You know that apple cinnamon scroll? Mm, mm. It tastes similar to that, but like with chocolate. Mmm. really good. Like also not too crazy sweet. I'm gonna have another one. All right. Mmm. <laughs> How good. We're going to make fish and chips, homemade fish and chips for dinner tonight.